This is a 28-year-old airplane. I've taken this 28-year-old airplane and I've put modern components on it. Looking up at it, it seems like a lot of other ultralights flying at AirVenture. But this Lazair and the man behind it have connections to Glenn Curtis, the father of naval aviation. We'll come back to that. First, the airplane, which used to be powered by gasoline. Now, batteries. Stem from the model airplane industry. Uh, there's 96 model airplane packs on here and about 100 pounds worth of batteries. And uh, we're talking about $3,300 off the shelf ordered through the mail. Kramer says flying it costs about $11 an hour, including charging the batteries that power the brand new motors. They're about 10 kilowatts apiece, which is about 13 horsepower. And uh, they've got a very efficient design to keep it cool. That's why the, there's only one moving part on the motor as the, the propeller is connected to it and there's two bearings in it. So not much can go wrong except Bear. overheating it. <laughs> Kramer says the batteries can be charged in as little as an hour and a half. And flying? Uh, the biggest difference is that idle on an electric airplane is zero RPM. Uh, you pull the throttles back, the props stop. You go a little forward and it starts out and, and gives you a, almost infinitely variable RPM. So it's a much more enjoyable experience at the lower power settings or if you're up uh, trying to soar an aircraft, which I do a lot. Now, about the connection to Glenn Curtis, the father of naval aviation. He masterminded the first airplane launch from a platform above the USS Birmingham in Hampton Roads in 1910 and the first landing on a ship, the USS Pennsylvania, in San Francisco in 1911. Kramer lives in a house Curtis built in Hammondsport, New York, near the Curtis Museum. I took a piece of the siding from the house and I made my instrument panel out of some Glenn Curtis wood. Kramer says Curtis is his hero. So it seems in the newest version of the Lazair, the father of naval aviation is still inspiring flying progress. For EAA, I'm John Nicholson.